Hi, I'm Kieran Foster. I'm the Vice President of Product Management for Anton Bauer and the Vitek Videocom Product Group. At NAB this year, we're introducing a brand new battery series called the Performance Digital, uh, and we also have some new chargers too. So one of the big things that we've done this year is actually focus on safety. And one of the products that's very, very important to most broadcasters is a battery system that's one, transportable and safe. And of course, everyone that's you know, has been talking about lithium ion and how, uh, how dangerous it possibly is. Uh, but the reality is that it's actually a very, very powerful chemistry for batteries. So what we've done is we've taken the lithium ion cells and we've embedded them in a plastic uh, honeycomb structure. And this honeycomb structure keeps the battery separated so that in the event that you drop the battery, the actual honeycomb structure prevents the, the cells from hitting each other, denting the sides and possibly pushing off the, the caps and that lithium ion actually leaking out. And of course that's where most problems with lithium, lithium ion uh, occur. So we've also added a lot of airspace between the cells itself, so the front and the back of the, uh, the casing, and rubberized it so that in the event, again, if you drop it, it actually cushions the effect of that, that drop. The other aspect of the battery is that we've add, done a bit of work on the electronics so that if the battery has an overcharge or a heating problem, it automatically shuts down and once the battery uh, returns to normal state, it, the, actual, the battery will come back online again. One of the important features of this battery is the ability to deal with uh, digital ringing or digital spiking. Now, that can be described as sitting in your car and revving your engine. So that really just wastes gas. It may sound fun, but uh, it wastes the gas. A digital camera will do the same thing. As the camera's turning on, the energy required to get the camera moving spikes high and low, and that essentially drains the power out of the battery prematurely. So this algorithm will actually balance that out so there's a constant draw from the battery and then once there's a handshake the camera settled down you get a good flow of energy into the camera and that maintains the runtime of the battery which then of course affects the longevity of the battery. One of the nice things is our new batteries actually get a thousand cycles so if we're able to actually maximize the runtime for every use the lifespan of that battery increases.